Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the BYC Collective. If you're watching this video, you're probably wondering why does my Quixel Megascan asset look like this inside of Houdini using Redshift instead of something like this? This is the high poly asset that I'm gonna be matching back to. But even if you enable displacement and start increasing the displacement amount, your asset might look like this instead of something like this. If this is happening to you, I'm going to show you how to fix it as quickly as possible. So to start off, I'm just going to re-import the asset. Here's the asset that I'm using. Let's hit export. So here's the asset back in Houdini. What I'm going to do is just jump inside the asset geometry. I'm going to hit command A and then shift L. That will give us a better layout. And I'm just going to delete the LODs that I don't need. Right now it has defaulted to the high poly asset. You can see how high resolution this is. And next to it is our LOD zero. So I'm gonna go to our LOD zero. Just to show you the comparison, our high poly asset has 1 million primitives and the LOD zero has 12,000. So let's bring that detail back. Now, if I just had to hit render You'll notice that our asset looks terrible and we have some artifacts here. So just to quickly fix these artifacts, I'm just gonna jump into the material network, go to where our normal map is and change that to object space normal, there. Okay, so to fix the displacement, here's what you need to do. Select your asset geometry, go over to the Redshift OBJ tab, select tessellation displacement and enable both of them. Set your displacement scale to 0.01. Now, inside of our asset material network, what we're going to do is, here's our displacement texture. We're going to go to this displacement node. We're going to change the new range min to negative 0.5 and then the new range max to 0 0.5. Now our displacement is enabled. So if I hit render again, you'll see that we have a change and our displacement is actually doing something. So if I increase the displacement, say to go five, you'll notice that our asset still has that same issue. It starts to balloon outward, right? It's now swelling up and getting bigger, which is what we don't want. To fix this, and it was quite a sneaky tab, inside of your RS texture displacement node, go over to the adjust tab, select your color offset and change this value to negative 0.25. Now, if we hit render, you'll notice that we have our displacement and it is matching back to our high poly asset. This is how you fix displacement. Cool, so there you have it. That's how you work with Quixel Megascan displacement inside of Houdini using Redshift. I'd actually finished the tutorial and I was just about to upload it, but I wanted to make sure that I had the most simple version. So all you need to do is enable displacement, change the range from zero to one to negative 0.5 and 0.5, and then go play with the color offset in the adjustment tab of your RS texture node where the displacement map is feeding in. So I dug a little bit deeper, I went into Nuke and I actually sampled some values. And theoretically, the change range should have made the value of black equals zero, which it did, but I think it was just on the very low end of the scale. So what the color offset does, it slams the color back and makes sure that there is a even and kind of nice ratio between dark and light values in our displacement map. So moving forward, that is all you should need to do. It's quite universal. I tried it with a couple of different assets where just enable the displacement, change the range, and change the color offset to negative 0.25. That should get you into the ballpark. Lastly, I just wanna give a big shout out to all of the new subscribers who have joined us on this channel. If this video helped you and you enjoy the content I'm putting out, please consider subscribing below. I've got a bunch of things planned and I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Peace.